Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to do a complete factory reset restore of an Acer Aspire E15 computer to factory settings. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward tutorial. And without further ado, let's jump right into it. So we're going to begin by opening up the start menu by left clicking on it one time. Now you want to left click on the little gear icon on the left here that says settings when you hover over it. Alternatively, you can just type in settings into the search menu, whichever you prefer. And now onto the settings window we go. You want to scroll down to get to the update and security tile. Left click on that tile. And now on the left side here, you want to go up and left click on recovery. Should be one of the middle options here on the left. So underneath recovery, reset this PC now on the right side. If your PC isn't running well, resetting it might help. This lets you choose to keep your personal files or remove them, and then reinstall as Windows. Left click on Get Started. Underneath Choose an Option, you have a couple choices here. You either keep your files, and this is probably a good point to note, even if you do select this option, I would recommend in either case that you create a backup of your computer's important documents and pictures and settings before you proceed. So with that out of the way, um, if you select keep your files, you might be able to keep some personal files, but it basically will reset your computer. Second option will remove everything, which as it states, will remove all of your personal files and apps and settings. So for the purpose of this video, I'm going to select the second option. Okay, so next screen we get, do you want to clean the drives too? If you're going to be just keeping your computer, I recommend selecting just remove my files. If you're going to be giving or donating your computer to somebody else, I would select the second option. For most people, the first option to just remove your files will be quicker and it will be just as sufficient for what you're going to be getting out of this video. And finally, we're going to be prompted just to confirm that we will be resetting, which will remove all the personal files and user accounts on this PC all apps and programs, and then any changes made to settings. This will take a while and your PC will restart. Left click on the reset button and begin this process. Again, it will take some time, so please be patient.
Okay, so at this point you're going to enter in some information. You're going to enter your country, preferred language, keyboard layout, and what time zone you're in. And then once you've checked all of that, you're going to select Next. It'll begin applying these settings. You're going to have to accept the end user license agreement. You can use Express settings to instantly get back and speed up the process a little bit. Or you can click on Customize right here. It should be the middle button and you can customize what you're exactly installing when you're resetting Windows 10. So if you want to disable sending input data to Microsoft, you can deselect that by clicking inside of these horizontal boxes. And you can go through and check them out on your own, but I'm going to keep most of them default how they are. And I'm going to select Next here. I'm going to select Next again. Again. And you guys are more than welcome to go check through and see exactly what you are agreeing to. I'm just trying to speed this video up a little bit. Okay, so at this point you have the option to enter in your Microsoft account credentials if you were previously using a Microsoft account to use your account. You could also create a new Microsoft account or you could skip this step and create a local account on your computer, which is what I'm going to do. So I'm just going to do a quick little example for you guys. I am not going to enable Cortana, so I'm going to select not now. And there we go. We can see we are logging into Windows. And it should be a fresh install of Windows we are logging into right now. Okay, so we actually have an update waiting, but I'm not going to select that, so I'm going to do not now, bottom left. Okay guys, I'm back, so it looks like our Acer Inspire E15 computer has been restored back to a factory state. Feel free to put any programs back on your computer at this time. would highly suggest creating a system restore point or a backup of your device once you have your computer set up the way you like, and that should be about it. So I do hope this brief tutorial was able to help you guys out. And as always, thank you for watching, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.